Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to our Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix Final Mix and everything else that goes with the title Playthrough slash Let's Play slash Walkthrough Okay, and I have to say that pretty much every time But here we are once again and we're going to be speaking to Leon here in a moment and then we'll be meeting and pairing up with some Disney characters before taking on another boss fight so please do stick around and join me today as we carry on through our adventure First thing we're going to do is speak to Liam, and he gives us a bit of information that's going to enable us to open the nearby treasure chest here. And then we're going to jump onto the table. And there we have it. You won't be able to open this chest if you haven't spoken to Liam. Once you've grabbed that, we're just going to speak to him again, and this will trigger a cutscene. And we're going to select that we're ready. Yuffie, go! Yuffie! Sora, let's go! Okay, so we're going to be heading towards the second district, that's our next destination. But we can try and take out some of these fellas if we want to, since they give a little bit more experience than normal. Look at that, three experience. But ultimately we're going to need to find the big bad boss you can carry on fighting those if you want to but the door to the second district is very close as you can just see basically once you're in the second district you're just going to want to move on around to the right here and you will encounter waves of heartless I've basically edited them out so that it doesn't get a little bit repetitive for those of you that are watching. But if you're playing, you'll certainly want to kill as many as you can. Just for comparison purposes, you can see that my Sora is level 9. And well on his way to level 10. And that's pretty much made most of the enemies so far, um, you know, a, a decent level to handle, if that makes sense. So I'm just thinking about what I'm doing as well as commentating. So we enter the third district here. This will kick off a cutscene with Goofy and Donald. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them, Goofy! Okay, so we've now got Doofy, uh, Doofy, Goofy and Donald in our party. And they're going to assist us in taking out this wave of Heartless here. And as you've probably noticed, these guys are substantially more challenging than the ones we've been fighting previously that haven't had this armour. And once we've killed those, we'll be greeted by our next boss fight. This guy is in four parts, and you're probably going to want to take out the limbs first, since they're the easiest to kill. And once we've taken out the limbs, then we can focus 
on the rest of the body. So try and stay locked on and stay away from each spinning attack. Hitting the legs is absolutely fine as well. Don't forget to just chuck down a potion when need be. This guy's got 700 health. But with Donald and Goofy, that shouldn't take too long. Just to compare, um, Leon had about, I think about 150. Gonna hit him with everything we've got here, see if we can finish, thing, finish this thing off pretty quickly. Looks like there's not much left of him now either. Hopefully we need it. Eh, to be honest, this is quite a hack and slash encounter. And we've killed the final foot there, so we can grab these lovely green orbs. And he's not happy with us, is he? But there we have it. Battle over. We get the brave warrior for a uh, reward there. So, you were looking for me? <laughs> they too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us. To have my friends again. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Ooh. No friend, no surface, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? Jeez! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one funny face. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Got a duck! Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. Okay, so now officially Goofy and Donald will join our party. Ten little squirt. Put down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? Ha ha ha! That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Swap on the eyes, they're all built rats by the look of them. 
you're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Righty ho. So now we're going to get some choices. At least we will do in a moment. Let's just get through this scene first of all. Ah, we get 500 money. I'm sure that'll go to good use. So we're going to treat this little area as a kind of hub and the gummy ship is going to take, take us to new areas and initially there's going to be three areas we can visit and we're going to do them in the order of their difficulty or almost in the order of their difficulty that's not exactly true but I'll explain that more uh, when it's relevant And we now have the ability to cast magic as well. And magic is particularly powerful in this game, as it is in many Japanese role-playing games from this era. And we finally have the ability to dodge roll. Since I've been playing Final Fantasy XV a lot recently, that is something that I have missed in Kingdom Hearts up until this point. Okay, so basically to proceed with the story, we need to head through this gate. But as has been suggested, we do get the opportunity now to also shimmy around the place and have a look. And we might also just want to sort out our abilities such as dodge roll, etc. But if you head into the accessories shop, then there is the awesome save points, but also a cutscene first. So we get taught about Trinity Marks, but only the blue ones are of interest to us immediately. And luckily there is actually a blue one nearby, so we're going to go and approach that. And then we'll just interact with it as normal. If I can get the menu option to show itself. Basically with three characters, you can interact with these things and get treasure. We've got nearly 1500 money now but folks i'm going to finish things off here today because i've got a few phone calls to make so thanks for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, if you have please do hit the like button make sure you subscribe to fuzz finger gaming on youtube and check back soon with for more episodes that i'll no doubt have uploaded by that point and i'll see you soon take care folks bye for now